This is Coco Montrese and you're rocking with Rock Metal Inc. We're back. We are here with one of the contestants. We are here with Miss J. Jolie. Hi, baby. You? I am so good. How are you, gorgeous? I'm doing good. This is, uh, what, second time in New York City? Or? It is. It is. I actually had a very scary experience on the subway, so I feel like a real New Yorker. Yeah. <laughs> I was scared for my life, honey, but I have a licensed taser, so I was ready for anything. <laughs> At least nobody didn't flash you. Oh, well, girl, I would have been, you know, but I'm not against that. No? Okay. <laughs> so how have the, um, this whole experience, how has it, um, you know, how has it worked for you? I mean, are just absorbing. <laughs> Yeah. I'm absorbing, honey. Um, no, it's been amazing. I've got such an amazing feedback from all of it. I'm just getting recognized as being the rainbow queen and, you know, right. the unicorns. Like, it's really cool, you know. And um, I, I realize a lot of children can relate to me, which yeah. is so awesome because I love kids, but at the same time, I'm kind of the most vulgar person I know. <laughs> so I feel kind of awkward when their moms bring them. But, um, no, I love it. And I'm just, I'm so grateful. I count my blessings, and I'm very lucky to have been part of this. And you have a lot of fans on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Oh, I love yeah. them. You know, well, either they just liked it to read me or they are my fan. But regardless, I appreciate the like. Well, at least they're paying attention. <laughs> yes, you. girls, all that matters. Right? As long as you're talking about If they're not talking about you, then you need to worry. Bad, bad publicity equals good publicity. I know. Everyone got bored with my porn link, so i got to come up with something new. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's another story. <laughs> I know. My hero is, um, I don't know, I'm very Amanda Bynes. It's like a, the new Amanda Bynes mixed with the old one. I live for her. She's like a hero. Yeah, but she's a, she's like a crazy one now nowadays. Don't you, don't you speak of her that way. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? We love her. She is America's sweetheart, honey. <laughs> well, compared to Lindsay Lohan. Then. Well, can we get a close-up on these breasts, though? Can we focus more on these tits? I'm going to eat these up with some I'm going to focus on your breasts. <laughs> <laughs> love you. Well, message to your fans that are watching. Just, I love you so much. Thank you guys so much. Just keep spreading the unicorns and the rainbows. And remember, if you mess with a unicorn, you get the horn. Yes. And where can people find you? You can find me on anything I can horn myself out on social media. Miss J. Joe Lee or Queen J. Jolie. And I'll see you there. All right. Yep. Thank you so much. Thank you, baby. Right. Oh, one quick thing. Yeah. For all them evil children on Tumblr, I will go to your middle school and I will read you to filth. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I love that? Tumblr, but they are evil, honey. Girl, they read me to filth and I'll click on it and she'll be 12 and a half. I'm like, well, I gotta leave her alone. <laughs> Whereas she just read me to filth like a grown adult, but it's okay. <laughs> I love you anyways. <laughs> I love you. I love you, baby. All right. Okay, we're back. We are here with one of the contestants. Um, Miss Monica Beverly Hills. How are you doing, Mommy? I'm doing great. Hello. Happy to be back in New York City again. Yes. Where are you originally from? Oh, Chicago. Chicago. But yeah. you, you live right now in L.A.? No, no, no. I'm moving to L.A. at the end of the summer. I'm back in Chicago. Oh, okay. But when I was on the show, I was living in Kentucky. So I'm basically a Chicago, Kentucky. Right. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Tell me about this gorgeous gown you're wearing. Yes. Um, so cunty. Yes, very, very, very cunty. Realness. Yes. Um, it's from um, one of my sisters. Her name is Dallas Coulter from San Francisco. And she actually does a lot of the, the girls on Drag Race clothes. But yeah. the styling is by my godfather, Jose Guzman. Oh, okay. So, yes. All right. All right. So, I know you revealed your story on national television. And I think we were with you when that happened. And I was like, oh, my God, I'm gagging. What, 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 what does she have to say, you know? And then I was like, oh, my God, you know? The secret is I'm not from Beverly Hills. That's yes, the real secret. That's the gagger. That's the gagger. Yeah. <laughs> How was that being, I mean, you're so brave and courageous. You know what, um, I, I get this question a lot. At that time, you don't really think about nothing but getting yourself together. You yeah. know, get yourself together, Miss Thing. And yeah. I think doing that really, really, I learned a lot about myself, that I am a strong person. You are. And I don't, I don't let no limits ever, I've never done that before, never not be myself around people. Right. You know, people know me, Monica, oh, hello, that's that right. tranny fish, honey. Right. We know her. So on the show, when it, when it happened, and I just make hair. I just let it, I just let it out. I'm like, after this, I don't care what happens. If I go home, yeah. I'm still gonna go home with my head up high. So yeah, with I your integrity. To, yes, I was happy to lip sync for my life and win that day and yeah. get to live another day. So so how has the response been? I mean, I'm sure you're getting a lot of emails from yes, people. yes, a lot of emails, a lot of support, a lot of people yes. telling me that they have similar stories, yes. gorgeous, gorgeous stories. And like I, I tell them, like RuPaul told me, stay strong, you know, and fight for what you believe in. So. Right. In this life, you have to be strong, right? You have to, and, and to me, being trans, it's 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 a very hard thing, you know. It's it's that. ten times harder for yeah. anybody. I mean, I always say trans people are very very smart. Yes, because we have to live two different lives, exactly. you know. So exactly. I think to me, 
you know, it would be great. There's, some days get harder than other. Right. But I know that at the end of the day, if I believe, you know, if I believe and keep on to my to my faith and keep pursuing and working hard to my dreams, they will come true. Because already one came true. Yes, you know? absolutely. So tell me, how far are you with your transition? Um, right now, I'm still just taking the hormones and stuff and taking it slow. I'm not trying to rush anything because yes. now it's just like, you know, I want to make sure that I'm secure. Right. Take it. Financially secure at that too. Yes. So it's a lot of saving up to do, honey. Yes. A lot of coin to save up. Right. And just taking it slow and just, you know, being, it's like, it's like being reborn all over again. You know, right. you have right. to learn how to walk. You have to learn how to talk. So right. it's every, I take every day one, like it's one slow every day, you know. Right. It's like a new journey. For you. It's very, at the same time, you're learning so much right you know because I really was not schooled about hormones and all that you know I used to take them and yeah. stuff but now I'm actually going to the doctors doing what I need to do seeing a therapist you know taking it right. slow and, and educating myself on right. being trans you know and I think when people see you and then they can relate to you I think it'll give them the courage to, to do it yeah to do it and to come out yes you know? so you're doing a wonderful thing thank you so much honey. yeah thank you. so you know we got to support my whole family because yeah. you know? it's like it's so hard that yeah. we need that. Yeah, and but one thing is, I, I must say to all the girls in season five, my sisters have been so supportive and so great. My family has been there. I mean, I think I needed this in a point in time in my life, and it couldn't come at a better time, I think. Right. So. Okay. So what's next for Miss Monica Beverly Hills? Are you going to be an actress now? <laughs> Well, I did. Are you take Hollywood? <laughs> I did um, come out in one of my friend's movies that he's in college. He does uh, college films for the film festival. I did a little part in there. Okay. Um, right now, I'm just concentrating. I'm a, a face model for a cosmetic line called Poodle Assassins. Oh. And I have my own lipstick. Nice. And now I'm just working on that. Um, working with the cosmetic line and my own little line with lipstick, lashes, and anything fun that, you know, girly and stuff that I love to do. Yeah. That's it right now. Just I'm taking one day at a time. Yes. And, still, and still doing my drag, honey. Yes. Because drag is what I do. Trans is who I am. Always remember that. Yeah, there's a big difference. There's a big difference, Mama. Yeah, definitely. Yes. All right. Do you have a message to all the people, your fans that are yes, watching? Yes, yes. I thank you guys so much for writing me. I love you all. And stay strong and be you and be fierce. Yes. And always get a good face. <laughs> yes. Monica Beverly Hills. <laughs> all right. Give, give us your contact info. Uh, okay. Stuff. You can find me on Twitter. It's Monica B. Hills. Uh, Instagram. Monica B. Hills, Facebook, Monica Beverly Hills. Right now, I can't add nobody else because you've reached yeah, the limit. Yeah, it's over. exceeded the limit. Yeah, right? but I have a fan page also, so catch me there. And if you really need me, inbox me. I'll give you my number. Okay, so follow her, support this yeah. one. Get her lipstick. Yes, 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 yes. And hopefully we'll see you in Hollywood. Oh, you will be seeing me in Hollywood. All right, girl. Follow your dreams. Yes. Bye. <laughs> All right, we are back. We are saving the best for last, actually. I'm looking forward to interviewing the one and only Alyssa Edwards. How Always are you? Always and forever, baby. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Tell me about this gorgeous ensemble that you're wearing. Look, it's spring. I told my designers, the Estrada Twins, yeah. I want to be very ballerina fish, flat chested, and tutu tall. <laughs> With a long, hot pink nail. <laughs> so it's a weird combo, but you know, look, I'm in New York City. Yeah. It's beautiful weather. You're giving glamour. I, always. All right. Always. Thank you. I'm a woman from the South. Yes. And we always love to match. Yes. And we always love to serve glamour, yes. realness, but, and human hair. Oh, personified. <laughs> <laughs> What's been going on with you? How's this whole experience this experience has been a hallmark of my life yeah uh, and that's keeping it real I teach dance and yes and you're a fabulous dancer Amazing oh my gosh performer. thank you yeah uh, the, the happiest moments of my life the greatest days are shared with children right. the youth of today the future of tomorrow and that's not a pageant answer right. and my studio has surprisingly been so supportive oh that's fabulous I, I'm sitting in the lobby this is right. a true story. Can I share? Yes, yes, please share. And, 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 and the other day, I, I hear some eight, nine-year-olds, and they're in the, um, the lobby, and I'm in my office. And I hear them say, I don't get cute. I get drop-dead gorgeous. And one girl goes, hi. 
And I stopped typing. And I look at my assistant. She said, they're playing drag race. Right. And one of the moms, I called the mom in there, and she said, they're playing drag race. And I thought, that's when you know RuPaul has revolutionized this industry. Yes, definitely. When eight and nine-year-old kids in Mesquite, Texas, right. are playing RuPaul's drag race. Right. That's Absolutely. amazing. Yeah. And I'm thankful that this experience yeah. has opened so many people's eyes. My father. Yes, let's talk about that because that was very personal. The most masculine yes. man I'm in I've right. ever met in my life. Right, to Harley Davidson. Right. He didn't even cry at his own mother's funeral. Wow. And, and, and I told my dad, it's such a sensitive subject, I told my dad at 21 that um, when I, wa I left that house, I said I would never look back. And I said to him, your definition of a man is completely different than what mine is. Right. You're right. You change tires. You, you can hit. Right. You can cuss. Right. Um, you're strong. But my definition of a man is someone who is secure. Right. Uh, someone who, do, who doesn't just see masculinity for being strong. Yeah. And um, after Drag Race and after my experience with my father, I told him, I look at you and I respect you now as a man. Wow. To be able to look at me right. as a man and say, that's my son, right. that's my daughter, that's a part of me. It's important to be validated, especially in this. You know what? You say we don't need it. We say it. We all say it. We, we teach ourselves as right. gay men. We, we train our minds right. to have thick skin and say, right. your opinion is neither desired nor required. But a part of us still wants it and we yearn for it. Absolutely. And um, that was the most rewarding experience to me on the show. Yes, and I think we were all moved by watching it with yeah. you. Yeah. Um, there are times I, I, I'd look and I'm like, my father might have been um, not the best for me, but he's a great grandfather to my niece and nephews. That's and and the most fabulous thing, I know I'm talking a lot, <laughs> the most fabulous thing is I have a nephew who is very similar to me. Okay. And he loves art. He don't play baseball. Right. Uh, he's not a good football player. And my father has latched onto him. Hi. And I watched him interact, and I think he's trying to make up. Yeah, yeah. And forgiveness is the strongest, yeah. most powerful emotion right. one can feel. So I'm thankful. Let's talk about your friendship with Coco Montrese. What friendship? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so glad that you guys made up. No, you know what? Look, I love Martin Cooper. That's like my brother. Right. And I fight with that bitch Coco Montrese on the daily. But at the end of the night, at the show of 12, Cinderella washes off. Yeah. We respect each other. Right. And we appreciate each other. Right. And we celebrate each other's art. Uh -huh. And we're both thankful that we, we like each other. We're girlfriends. We get down with the get down and roll with the roll. Yeah. But you know, um, this is an intense competition. Yeah. And bitch, $100,000 is up for grabs. Right. So it's a doggy dog world. I know. But at, you know, at the end of the day when the curtains closed, I looked at her. He, well, I looked at him. Right. He looked at me and we said, we're going to always be friends and we'll share this forever. Uh -huh. Forever. Right. Now, bitch, if y'all told us to fight now for yeah. energy, I'm getting up there. We're going to fight. <laughs> <laughs> but that isn't it, and we can be we can be friends after. Right. We can go celebrate on my tab. Right. No, uh, much love, much okay. respect. All right, all right. We're gonna wrap things up. Follow her, support her. I know you have a single. Talk about that real quick. I have a lot of projects in the works. Stay tuned. Go to her website. Alyssa Edwards, always and forever. Don't ever forget it, baby. Yeah. And thank you, Granny, for believing in me at eight years old and telling me that I was going to do it. And I did. Just with the wig on. Amen.